the only rooms you guys have probably seen that have been this messy are on TV shows titled something like Hoarders from Hell or something like that. It's just dreadful. Won't let this moment pass us by. Hi guys, and how are you doing? Today I've decided that I'm gonna keep the video a bit shorter than normal, and I've had a busy day, and I'm just gonna focus on tidying this damn back bedroom. We've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but today we are going to do it, or at least start. And I know I told you guys that I wasn't gonna show you the back bedroom because it was an embarrassing shit tip, and it is an embarrassing shit tip, but I'm gonna show you anyway so you can actually see what we've gotta work with and why we've we keep putting it off. Um, so I'm going to show you it and then I'll show you a bit of progress as we're going through it and then we'll see how far we get on today. I'm not sure we can do that much. It's now like 8 o'clock. So it's not like we can do loads and loads and loads. And I'm in a bit of pain today so I can't do too much lugging stuff around. This is a mess. You probably haven't seen. In fact, the only rooms you guys have probably seen that have been this messy are on TV shows titled something like Hoarders from Hell or something like that. It's just dreadful. I might need to sit down for this. So we have some empty boxes here, a load of tools and DIY stuff in the middle. I got a um, radiator from the study here that needs to go up. I've got a frame from an old bed that needs to get uh, removed. This we bought and put up not that long ago, so that's staying. I've got a load of frames that came from around the house that probably need to be either painted or thrown away. A duvet that we need to do something with. Um, behind that, so this is this is underlay from the flooring in the study that I put down, but it was expensive, so I didn't want to throw it away. Behind that, I've got two chest of, not chest of drawers, bedside tables from Ikea that we got for years ago, and they're full of fabric. Jen, as you probably know, likes making quilts, so she has hoarded so much... Hoarded? Is hoarded a word? Yeah. She's hoarded so much damn fabric over the years that it just fills up everything. So we need to go through... You can never have too much fabric. Did you hear that? You can never have too much fabric, apparently. Yes, you can. And I'll show you how much is too much. <laughs> uh oh. You can either keep your fabric or keep your clothes. Take your pick. I'm gonna use it. Oh, she's gonna use it. She's been telling me this for years. So it's quite a small room anyway. Um, there's a bookcase here with books we just don't read. This wardrobe Jen's dad built for us years ago. Um, we need to put the doors on it. We never got around to doing that. And it's full of stuff that could go in the bin or to charity. Jen's graduation photo. No, your photo's not supposed to go in the bin. I was just pointing it out. Oh. Yeah, that's not going in the bin. Um, and, there's, and this here, this contraption, was it? Bookshelf! cannot think of words today. This bookshelf I actually made and attached to the um, wardrobe that Jen's dad made because we had so many books on the way to put them and I was trying to clear space in this room that now is housing all the mess from the rest of the house that has nowhere to go and it needs to be sorted through. Fortunately I think a lot of it is temporarily just going to end up in other rooms until we can find a home for it. So much stuff. Right less talking more doing. Come on Jen let's go. We somehow managed to manhandle, I think it was pretty much a king size duvet, into this little thing. I don't know how we managed it, it took two of us, and now we need to somehow close it up and vacuum it. And I'm curious as to how small, and if this even works, because that doesn't look like it's going to stay closed. So I've managed to suck a load of air out just by kneeling on it. That's pretty impressive, Jen. Right, vacuum, vacuum, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> like really dense jelly. That is insane. That is amazing. It's, yeah, it's like clay. Yeah. That's just, that is mental. That is, that's an entire, d hold that up. Hold that up. Oh. This, turn it round, is a king size-ish duvet vacuum. That is awesome. Although, I'm a bit concerned, what happens if it suddenly unvacuums? <laughs> it just goes poof. It's taken us about an hour and a half, and this is the progress we've managed so far. Personally, I thought we could have and should have done more, but it's so tiring. But I'll show you. This is where we're at. We can get in the room a bit now. Some stuff here all cleared up. The uh, duvet that you saw is vacuum pack. These are just some soft toys. That I need to go through. There's a couple of things there that I have to sort out. I've cleared a bit of there. 
So all in all, we're making pretty good progress. We've got a few things that are gonna go to charity. Including a load of fabrics here, t old t-shirts and stuff. This is rubbish, rubbish, and some books. We have been naughty and we have moved one or two things to other rooms where we think they're probably gonna end up or just to get them out of the way. But you gotta get it done. So tomorrow I think I'm gonna come back in here when Jen is at work. And I think I'm gonna sort of like clear out some of the stuff that I know I can touch and then wait for Jen to come back to carry on and do some more because there's just some things I can't do without Jen because there's just so much of her stuff in here. But we need to get through my stuff to get to her stuff, to get to my stuff, to get to her stuff, that sort of thing. That's gonna be it for me today. Short but sweet, hopefully, although it's probably not as short as I'm expecting. But that's it, that's what you're getting today. So good night guys, and I'll see you tomorrow where I'm gonna be back in this damn room. This <laughs> Let's give it to you. This is Sheppy's current reindeer and he loves the reindeer, but it's looking a little bit mangled because it's, well, how many months old? Nine months old? But it's his reindeer!